my name is Amy Mullis, and I am the founder of The Modern Intuitive Life. The Modern Intuitive Life is a company focused on personal growth and development, both at home and at work. And today, in an ongoing series featured here on my resource library, I want to talk with you a little about intuition. What is our intuition? How do we connect to our intuition when we've become disconnected? And how our intuition can play a role in our day-to-day -day life, both at work and at home. So as we get started, I just want to share with you a little about my own personal journey with um, following my intuition. Um, about three years ago, I left my job and um, pursued a certification in leadership development and coaching. And at the time, I was not sure if I was going to use my certification um, in a more corporate environment and get a job working in a company's HR group doing development with um, their teams, or if I was going to use my certification in a more private practice doing one-on-one -on -one coaching. But what I did know was that this was a path that was of interest and had been of interest of mine for a very long time. And when I started down this path, I felt more and more interested and connected to what I was doing and what I was learning and what I was sharing. And for me, that was a big indicator that I was following my intuition and really being guided by what was fundamentally true for me. So defining intuition. Intuition is defined as inherent knowing without conscious reasoning which I think was really interesting since I have never done anything personal development professionally before. So the fact that I had such a pull to um, something like this was just really kind of surprising to me at the time. But um, of course, once I got further and further into my program and my study, it really just started to make sense. It, this was all information that um, in so many other ways I had been interested in. And um, the one thing that kind of kept popping up was, um, you know, and we hear it all the time, trust your gut, trust your gut, your gut won't lie. Um, and I think it was so interesting that the more um, study I did and the more engaged I became in um, my program and what we were doing and the people that we were coaching and helping, it just seemed more and more something that I wanted to pursue, um, having never done it before. And so I spent roughly about 17 years of my career in sales. This was something that I knew and that I was very comfortable with. Um, and was um, really good at. But um, this new path of personal growth and development was um, something that um, I, in now looking back, inherently knew was something I wanted to do. I just didn't know that there was a path. So again, intuition is defined as inherently knowing. Um, and then also I think intuition is something that a lot of times we disregard as um, something that isn't concrete because it isn't proof based, right? Like there is um, no scientific study that says, you know, I was meant to do personal development and growth. There was no way to um, really prove that, but somehow I just knew that this was an area of interest and a path to pursue. So in sharing my story, um, I really hope that 
you will recognize maybe something that you do or have an interest in but have never done before, but you just know that it is an activity um, that you want to pursue or a career path that you might not have an education in, but that it is something that you are very curious about and want to explore. So now that we've defined intuition as inherent knowing without conscious reasoning, let's talk about connection um, and connecting to our in own intuition. So this was a huge thing for me in my development and something that I have to work on, um, but are all things that I enjoy working on and doing to help me connect. So for me, cooking is something that I love doing and is something that has always come easily to me. And I just kind of know when I open the refrigerator, I can pull out a few items and make something that maybe I've never made before, but have seen or I'm not following a recipe, but I've seen someone else make, but I can tweak it and make it my own. And know that it is going to taste great. Um, so cooking is something that I love to do. Um, another thing that is huge for me is meditation and um, establishing a meditation practice a couple years ago was something that allowed me to slow down and to get really quiet and focused. And um, this is something that I return to daily um, as a way to connect with um, myself and um, what is true for me. And then um, working out. Physical fitness is something that I love doing. And um, I have a yoga practice that I do consistently. Um, but I also love, um, love getting outside and walking and occasionally jogging when I feel the, um, the urge to jog. Um, and also, um, you know, is something that oddly comes very easily to me. Even before I learned all the poses um, with yoga, it was something that I really felt drawn to and confident that I um, could do and would be something that would help me connect more to me. Um, but with all of these things, the thing that is most prevalent is the, um, the slowing down of all the outward activities, right? The things that we're obligated to do in our job and in our personal life, whether it's with our families and our children or the organizations that we've signed up for. Um, it was um, something that I had to work on to slow down and to really think about ways that I could take time out of my day to focus on myself and, um, and do it in a way that... Um, was most meaningful. My yoga practice, sometimes I do it for 10 minutes. Same with my meditation. I can make a dinner in 12 minutes. Um, all of these things, you know, total up to like 32 minutes of my day, but are ways that I can quickly and easily connect with myself that I can stretch out into longer practices. Um, but are ways that I know that when I've gotten bogged down with projects that I'm working on and have become distracted and disconnected from what I'm doing are ways that I can easily focus and um, come back to my intuition to kind of check in and make sure that I am on the right path and I'm not just doing something on autopilot like we all can do and out of habit. And so how does intuition play a part in our daily life? Well, I think I just shared with you um, how these practices for me um, are simple and easy 
And I think that um, are something that we can all figure out ways to incorporate whatever the things that we gravitate most to. Um, is it writing for you? Can you spend 10 minutes writing, even at your desk at work, over lunch? Just pull out a piece of paper and write. Or um, maybe it is like a closing your eyes at your desk while staring at your computer and spending two minutes breathing and focusing so that you can um, refocus on the project that you're trying to complete um, for your clients? Um, or is it, um, you know, a longer practice? Is it, um, you know, for you um, taking a long run at the end of the day that gets you, you know, out of your head and your overthinking mind um, and into, into your body and into how you're feeling. So all of these are ways that we can tune back in during the course of our day. And um, again, don't take um, as much time as maybe we think they should take, but are all ways that we can connect with our intuition and make sure that we are um, taking care of ourselves, so that when we do spend time with our families or when we do spend time with our friends or when we are at work and focused on a project that we are bringing um, the best version of ourselves to these things that really do matter to us, work and relationships and overall health and wellness. So intuition is a huge part of my daily life and connection is a part of that. And I hope that these are ways that you um, can implement and are things that you can implement in your day as well. Um, you can find me for further conversation and connection um, at amy at themodernintuitivelife.com. Thanks so much. Have a good one.